place is insane. It's a final here from the Target Centers. I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time. Hey guys, welcome back to Garrett Stadium Travel. Today is stadium vlog number 31. I'm so excited to be back. It is October 23rd and it's NBA history today. Uh, right now I'm at home in Vancouver, British Columbia, but I'm not staying here. I'm catching a flight down to Los Angeles where tonight the Los Angeles Clippers open up the Intuit Dome for the very first time tonight against the Phoenix Suns. Uh, it's NBA history. Uh, I'm super excited. Uh, this is the first time I've ever opened up an arena per se. Uh, I was supposed to open up uh, Globe Life Field uh, in Dallas, but obviously COVID got in the way of that. So I'm super excited for this to be the first time. Uh, the Clippers, I think, are one of my top favorite teams in the NBA. So this is going to be a super cool experience, uh, and I wanted to bring you guys along with me. So without further ado, let's head to the airport. To Los Angeles Airport Hotel. Not much to see behind me, but we're here. I'm definitely tired, but uh, we're going to be powering through this. We are in the Clippers gear. It's a Kawhi Leonard jersey. He's not playing tonight, but that's okay. Um, I actually got to check out Intuit Dome. It's just down the road. Uh, super cool. Got to go to the team store, but uh, it's the real thing now. Uh, opening night at the Intuit Dome. Uh, headed there right now, so let's go. I'm up here on the terrace level of Intuit Dome and it's time for the stadium fact of the day. The stadium fact of the day today is all about the wall. With the opening of this arena comes a brand new way for fans to buy tickets. Behind the East Basket houses 51 uninterrupted rows of exclusively Clipper fans. To be able to sit in these sections, you need to be Chuck Marks certified. A process that verifies your Clipper fandom, no opposing team merch is allowed, and the goal is to create a college-like atmosphere, a student section type of atmosphere. This is a new way of ensuring some type of home court advantage. And I like what the Clippers have done. Uh, I'm really interested to see if other teams employ this strategy at their home arenas in the future. For now, I'm gonna explore this gorgeous arena and then hopefully enjoy a great game. Let's go.
we'd like to recognize tonight's the first member of the game, David Potter. For the towering life and legacy of America's basketball dad, our friend, and forever guide, Jerry.
to the line. Shooting two. Our covers 103, Phoenix Suns 103. It's a final here from Intuit Dome. Uh, the Suns ended up taking this one 116-113. This was a great game. What a great way to start up this arena. Overtime in the opening night. Uh, great game. It was so cool seeing Kevin Durant and James Harden go at it like old times. Uh, great game. This arena is so cool. You got to make it out here. Uh, going to head back to the hotel and then tell you guys what I saw. Peace out for now. Hey guys, just got back to the hotel uh, and I'm going to tell you guys what I saw from Intuit Dome. Uh, into a dome I thought was super cool. Um, it's got all the bells and whistles, quite literally. I use that term sometimes, tongue in cheek, but this place is almost over the top when it comes to technology and, and stuff like that. So we're gonna get into things here. Uh, first off, atmosphere. I thought the atmosphere was pretty good. Um, the place wasn't full. I was pretty surprised for the first game at an arena. I thought it would be sold out for sure but it was about maybe 75 to 80 percent full uh for this game uh despite not selling the game out, i thought the fans that did show up did a great job especially especially the wall i mean that's gonna be uh a really fun place to watch a game if you're a clippers fan for years to come and it's gonna be a place that you're gonna dread as a player playing in so i thought that was super good uh the pregame was super good. Of course, they had kind of a bunch of festivities because it was the first game. I don't expect that every night, but from what I saw, really good. Uh, the venue, uh, we're going to get into this. Venue was great. Everything about it, uh, it is high tech. What I will say is if, you know, you, you're a Clipper fan and you're you have grandparents that are Clipper fans. They're going to struggle with this verification process. It is super intricate if you're not uh, technically advanced. So uh, if you're maybe uh, an older person watching this, uh, get your grand uh, grandson or granddaughter to, to help you out with it because you will need the help. Um, but with that being said, Everything about this place was high tech. Even the seats had chargers and interactive games. It was it was really cool. It really was, you know, state of the art, which is what you want when you have the newest arena in the NBA. And I think the Intuit Dome does that. Steve Ballmer is my favorite owner uh, in the NBA right now. Uh, next up is access. Uh, access to the stadium isn't very good. No light rail. Uh, obviously, LA traffic is a beast in and of itself. So uh, try and stay by this arena if you're going to a game. There are buses, but um, obviously that's not the most extravagant uh, way to get to and from an arena. But you can Uber, you can do all that stuff. But just know you're probably going to be waiting a decent amount of time after the game to, to get out of this place. 
Last up is pricing. I thought pricing was pretty good for this game specifically. The prices were inflated because it was the first game. But uh, beyond that, looking at some of the games down the line, uh, they're really affordable tickets, uh, especially uh, if you're Chuckmark certified. Uh, I'll put a link into what that is and how you can get it. But if you're a Clipper fan or you have photos and Clipper gear, discounts on merchandise, I believe, discounts on food and beverage, and obviously discounts on tickets and tickets to the wall as well. So if you're a Clipper fan, this place is extremely affordable. If you're a visiting fan, then maybe not as much, but considering all the pricing of all the other LA teams, uh, it's a bargain to watch a basketball game at the Intuit Dome uh, if you pick the right day and uh, are a Clippers fan. So that's all I got. Uh, in terms of a rating, uh, I'm going to give Intuit Dome an 8 for atmosphere, a 10 for venue, a 4 for access, and an 8 for pricing, bringing it to a total of 30 out of 40. 30 out of 40 is a really good score. Uh, that's going to be up near the top of the NBA arenas for my ranking. So this place was really cool. It was really cool to kind of experience history for the first game of an NBA arena. That's uh, not something I'm sure I'll do again. So um, really cool to experience that. And uh yeah, if this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Garrett. This is Garrett Stadium Travel, where I'm traveling all over North America to see all pro major sports teams at their home stadium. This has been Stadium Vlog number 31. If you like the video, make sure to drop it a like. Uh, and if you like this kind of content, sports content, stadium content, uh, why not toss a subscribe? I would really appreciate it. it Let me know that I'm doing a great job with these videos. So yeah. Uh, I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.